Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring, where today I'm going to be playing the part of a bell-bearing hunter and attempt to collect a few bell-bearings. Also, I want to see, because I know of a place called Mountaintops of the Giants, and I know that that's a place I have to go, so I'm wondering if I can get there somehow now. I don't think there is, but we can try. But our first bell bearing that I want to go for is Blackguard. Because Blackguard, as much as you're a good friend of mine, buddy, you've chosen the worst spot to just sit and nest. Because, oh my god, that stupid crab there with the sleep just keeps putting me to sleep before I can buy anything. So I need to pick up your bell bearing and bring it back to base. Is it nighttime? Although, if it's nighttime, that actually helps me out here. Uh, let me... Yeah, it's night. So... There's an enemy that should be here. I think. Yep. Alright, you give me items. Oh, but you also are insanely strong. Oh, what the... What kind of Jedi magic is this guy using? Whoa. Alright, heal. Whoa. Alright, long combos here. And then three and four. And then go back. Alright, yep. Block. She ow. Alright, yep. Block, block, block. Need to get him to just leave me alone. Okay, I'm screwed. I am, yep. Well, there goes 59k. Oh, actually, I respawned right here. That is a weird shield he is holding. Well, anyways. That sucks, but hey. I'm worried to go and fight Blackguard now. Oh, no. Okay, well, I guess let's just get running that way. Oh, hey. Got some golden runes. I'm gonna need those later. Am I being chased by something? I feel like I'm being chased by something. I sounds like I'm being chased by something. So, the answer is keep moving. So... I put a marker on where Blackguard is. Don't kill me, thank you. Alright. So, yeah, he's down there. Problem is getting back down there without dying. Which I think we have our way here. I uh, hear something that's very not good behind me. Yeah. I think those big guys noticed me. Oh. Well, thanks for the runes, buddy. Alright. Big crab, where are ya? Should be popping up any second now. Need to pop up. And it comes from the water area. Alright. Things are already not looking good here. What is going on up there? Okay. Well... I'm going to take out the crab before it ends up trying to take me out. Hello? I think I see him over there. That was just dumb. Alright, hi there, Blackguard. Great to see you, buddy. Uh, yes, I will purchase a little bit of boiled crab here from you. And then immediately snack on it. Alright, boost. And. Yeah, it's not letting me aim at him. Alright then, well. Sorry, buddy. Hate to do this to you. Yep. 
And he's got a heal. Oh no. He's got those... What the? Alright, hi. What the? He didn't even dodge that one. Alright. He's eating some prawn. That's gonna help him if I actually use the sword. Ow, 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 ow. Ow! Those jars on his hand hit hard! Oh my god! Alright. He dodges. And then comes in and tries to do a combo. Gets sniped. Alright, he's got an attack buff, it looks like. Come on! Hit him! Yep, yep. That definitely does a lot of stamina damage. Whoa, yep. Alright. Hi there. What is that? What did he just equip? Alright, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. And get gone. Sorry, buddy. I feel bad. I'm gonna steal these roses, though. He just picked a very, very bad spot to live. Alright, well, let's go back to the round table. But damn, that guy hits hard. I will give him credit. I mean, ouch. Alright, uh, let's head to the Twin Maiden Husks. I just realized I really hope that these stay in the New Game Plus. Alright, Offer Bell Bearings, we've got the Ghost Form Pickler. Alright, and Blackguard. Hmm, Bell Bearing Shop 2. Oh! So now we can actually access Blackguard Shop there. Okay, and we've got the ghost glove warts here. Got a few smithing stones, got a dagger there. Alright. Looks good there. Alright. Now, I heard that this person is an insanely good summon, so... Alright. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alrighty, well... Go and uh, say hi then. Oh. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the main of the uh, of the uh, DLC area? Someone just get rid of a great run. It's my question. Alright. Alright, so. Yep. Now, what about Nefeli? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, she said. Ah. Uh, So, does, does, do I get, hmm. so I know that she is a summon that you get later on, I don't know how you get it though, so, and I just realized if I want to go on ahead and actually do the thing that I want to get done, uh, I probably should go into online mode, huh? What's up, buddy? I will pay you, mind. Oh, there's no, there's no talk to him thing. Mm -hmm. Well, how much to increase those iron hand slammers? Ooh. 
I forgot I got this. And I have the strength and dexterity to use it. As well as the golden halberd. This may be good to use for, uh, for when I go dungeon diving. I do want to be able to use the cypher pata when I go down there. Because it deals holy damage, and holy damage is good against the undead guys. And then... Oh, that was only plus one? Holy crap. Man's supposed to have a strength stat out the wazoo. Alright, well. Most of my other weapons, it doesn't seem like I'm actually equipped to hold or upgrade. The Reduvia, I've heard, is a very good weapon. Uh, as well as the Black Knife, I think, was decent damage. Actually, that deals holy damage as well. well anyways, on to the next thing for this episode. I uh, wasn't there? Nah, alright. I thought that there was something part of the story that happened there. Alright, so I'm gonna have to leave, go into online mode, and do the invasions. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go and take a shot at that guy at Altus. So, uh, because I don't think I need to succeed in the invasions, but I do need to succeed in the Windam Ruins. Uh, sealed Tunnel. Where's Windam? Oh, uh, there's Windam. There's Windam Catacombs, but I think it was over there in Windam Ruins. Actually, there was another thing that I was looking at that I really wanted down here. Uh, it was like River's End something other. I mean, maybe it's down here? And this guy's pointing this way, so I guess let's head to the converted tower and look around. Alrighty, so... Uh... There was a Erd Tree Catacombs boss down here somewhere. Somewhere. That uh, gives a weapon that I really want. There's a lot of these guys down here, which is not going to be fun. But I need to kind of scour the wall here, see if there's any... Anything's here. Oh, great. Poison swamps. There's crabs. No thanks. No, let's go back to a grace real quick just so I can get my level ups that I have available to me. Without dying, preferably. Alright. Let's hop off over here and get the level ups that I have. Or well, level up, huh? If I have any. Uh, nope, I'm too poor. But. I have golden runes for this exact reason. Alright. Let's go ahead and use that. I just hope that none of those mannequin dudes decide to sneak up on me while I'm doing this. It's probably better to use the big runes at the start here. Gold rune 10. Just be an extra 5k. Nice. I think that should be enough to level up now. Yes. Alright, and I want to level up my endurance. Alright. So now I can actually carry things. So, where would these catacombs be? So looking at this, it points down almost fully south. So, I mean, maybe it's up there on the cliffside? Hmm. That reminds me. Uh, I need to go back to Limgrave, actually. I know, it's been a while since I've been back there. But uh, I need to go back there because I realized I never went back to help the guy that was asking for my help. I'm going to swap out Night Comet for uh, Carrion Slicer. And... Just as an FYI, everyone, I am not using Tibia Summons. It's <laughs> just... 
Just to make that clear, I am not going to be torturing myself by trying to use tibia summons. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, where was it? It was somewhere back here. Is it Agion Lake? Artist Shack? Uh, it was somewhere. Huh, I really don't remember. Was it? Yeah, I think it was there. So let's go to Agio Lake North. And then we need to travel east. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and pop in. Alright, and east is this way. So, we need to go on ahead and... First of all, say hi to this guy. And I did it all without killing the horse. You're welcome, friendo. Alright, so... Supposedly... There's something here. I think this is where I heard the voice. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, there's an item back here. Hold on. Eh, row of fruits. You make a few row of berry raisins for this guy. Get some golden runes. Alright. There's a lot of sheep out here. And a lot of golden runes, apparently. Is it because I haven't been back here in a while that these golden runes just kind of build up? A lot of these guys. It has been a minute. Hey, you guys! Alright. And... Oh, that one dropped an item. Nice. Some raw fruits all around. Right, there's another guy over there with a, with a horse. Yeah, I remember it was in this kind of little forested area somewhere. Oh, wait. Is this him? Hey. What's up? Oh. oh, well, you can keep it. I don't need mushrooms. You can keep them. No. No, oh, buddy. Okay, so. Come on, let me help you. Head got awful shore, so do I have to get back down to that, uh, that, uh, Murkwater? That was it. Yeah, that was what it was called, right? Murkwater? I feel so bad for this guy. Okay, so I think. I think from here we have to go and reset the area? Question mark? I don't know. We do still have more bell bearings to attempt to get. Alright, soldiers. Tally forth! Bonk. <laughs> and again, without killing the horse. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so where's the nearest Grace? So I can go ahead and sit down and let him recoup. I, I want to give him back the mushrooms, because I mean, I'm not going to need them. And it seems like he like, didn't have anything else. Alright, so the grace... I think I see one over there. Alrighty, so. Going to take a pit stop over here. Ooh, big goat skull. Also, I'm not sure, but I feel like our next stop should be the... Uh, the, whatchamacallit, the Caria Manor. Because I haven't been back there in a while, and I have kind of beaten a couple of things since then. And I feel like the Loretta fight that I need to get done might be insanely easy now. But then again, that may just me speaking out my butt, because uh, I have never actually fought said Loretta. They were over here, weren't they? 
And I think this was where Bach was. So, where'd he go? D does he not show up on the map? It's Nomadic Merchant. There's Dragon Burnt Ruins. Huh. Did he come down to the Artist Shack? so confused. Hello? No? Huh. Where did Bob go? There's... the merchant guy there. Castle Morn and Nomadic Merchant there. There's Selen. Actually, that reminds me that there was a Selen thing that I could get done as well. Um, there's also the Grank quest line and galleries. And honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to be dealing with Kaled. Because I need to get into the middle of that giant rot lake that's there and deal with a boss that's there. Where would this little guy be? Huh. Nomadic merchant? I honestly don't see our little buddy. There's the Black Knife Catacombs there. Uh, it's Church of Vows. Uh, nomadic merchant. Yeah, where did he go? Huh. I'm honestly saddened. I didn't mean to scare our little buddy off. That's right, we've also got Nokron to explore. Keep forgetting all the things that we need to get done. But, as a bell-bearing hunter, my next stop should be one of the merchants. Actually, no, there was a Celia Crystal Tunnel. Where's Celia Crystal Tunnel? Because I know I've got that somewhere. Yeah, Celia Crystal Tunnel. There's a Falling Star Beast in here that gives somber stone smithing stone. Or smithing bell bearing. But there's also a few things up here. Hmm. There's the Nomadic Merchant here. And the Finger Reader Crone. Huh. Well, I've been staring at this map for long enough. Let's go on ahead and choose a destination and go. Uh, Finger Reader Crone. There's Vare over here. Who's Vare? Okay. Actually, that's right. We've got to find uh, Thops. So he should be in here somewhere. And I am still fully equipped to deal with mages. Because, haha, -ha, mages go boom. Alright, so, once we load in, I'm gonna swap to my hook claws and get to rocking. Hey there, buddy. Come on, you know you wanna hit me. Not with that. Woohoo! Bonk! Bonk! <laughs> You gotta love that they just kind of bounce off of the, everything that you're doing. Alright. So, supposedly, just turn left, and you'll find Thops somewhere? This doesn't look like where Thops is found. Ooh, a chest. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Alright. Oh! Well, I'll be. Hi there. Smithing's done for. Well, <laughs> that's handy. Uh, that reminds me, I also need to go and check where that waygate goes. Um, where would... If I were a guy that just got into 
a school, where would I be? Probably in the school, but... I'm gonna need to activate my torch here. It is dark as hell. Hi there. Goodbye, buddy. Oh. Well. I should be getting runes any second here. Did he live? How in the fresh hell did he live that? I'm so confused. But anyways, supposedly Thops is around here. Oh. Oh. Well, crap. I just feel like a bad person now. How did he get this far, actually? Actually, there's an item over here. Hold on. How do I get there? Can I summon Torrent? No, I cannot. How does one get over there? There's an item. Huh. Oh, I guess that'll just be an eternal mystery. Alrighty. Well, I guess now we found Zops. <sighs> Alright, well. Uh, where else do we have to check out? That's right. Going to the Rail Lucario Library. And... Checking where that goes. That way gate. Hi there, friendo. Alright. So safe in here for now. Uh, I know that Selene's quest line comes in here at some point. Alright. Now, let's go down. So I should be able to get to the way gate with no issues. Unless there's new enemies that spawn out here. New. Thank goodness. Alright. So it gives me a chance to look around a bit more. Yep, these are all just death. So there's nothing secret there, just death. Alright, so can I open this door yet? Can't be open from this side. What is on the other side? Um, very much so bad news, it looks like. Actually, is that back down at the courtyard? Huh. Alrighty, well. It's way gate time. Actually, there was somebody down here, wasn't there? Nope. Alrighty, well. Oddly destructible objects there. Alright, I guess. Let's-a go! Hopefully it leads somewhere safe. I hope. Um... Oh! Oh, we're back here! Hey there, Priest Turtle. Alrighty. So. Oh, wait, I can ask about Renala. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then I can ask about Radagon. So can I keep asking about Radagon? Yeah. Alright. So, it's Karin Greatsword. Blessing Boom. Huh. A lot of faith to use that, though. Though I am debating on going to a faith build instead of an intelligence one. Because faith one gets access to a lot more different types of stuff that they can use. Well, magic is just blue bolts and blue stones. Sometimes purple ones. There's a nomadic merchant over there. Oh, there was something else at Volcano Manor that I... Or near Volcano Manor. Uh, where was it? Rundam, Sage's Cave, Craftsman's Shack, Bridge of Inequity... Corpse then shack. I honestly have no clue where I'm going. So you know what? I'm going to go in and end this episode here. I'm going to find out where I'm going to go for next episode in between episodes. Alright, so I'm going to take a trip down to the round table hold real quick. 
just to go in and drop off these uh, bell bearings that I do have. And you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and change my stats real quick before I end off this episode. Because I want you guys' opinion on my build once I'm done. So let me go ahead and hello there. Offer a bell bearing. Here's Thopses. So that's now there. And then there. Okay. Cool. I can work with this. Alright. So. Let's go on ahead now to Ranala and see how she's doing and get a little bit of rebirth action going because I have plenty of larval tears to go on ahead and you know change up as many times as I need. Uh, I do have plenty, right? I no, I've got like three or four. Uh, yeah, I've got four. So, yes, I would like rebirth. Mm hmm. Alright, so, yes, spent Marvel Tears to gain new. Yep. Cannot have them lower than determined by your origin. Gotcha. So, I want to put some into Vigor and Mind and Endurance here. Let's put all those to there and keep my 30 strength. Probably 32 here. I'm going to keep my dexterity and put some in faith. I've still got a few levels, so let's do arcane as well for bleed buildups. And intelligence for a little bit of magic, too. And I can amp up faith a little bit more there. Alright, that, that's pretty evened out, I'd say. That's very even. Alright, so... Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I'm going to confirm. And I have now new strength. And I shall be prepared for next episode. So yeah, I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.